Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave, and lately I have been really inspired by color. And I get the feeling I don't use it as well as I could in my work. I'm really inspired by other artists, and then I look at mine, and I always tend to go to the safe spot of using muted tones, but I'm really inspired and feel something inside me when I see vibrant, awesome color palettes. So this is something I wanna get better at. So today I thought I would take you through as I make a bunch of different color swatches and try and put them together in different color palettes so I can hopefully use them in future tutorials. Let's jump in and get started. Okay guys, so here we go. We are jumping right in. As you can see, I am making a ton of different color swatches. I am taking pure colors right from my palette, some of my favorites, and then you'll see I start to mix slowly different combinations. Just, there's no real order. I just kind of start picking colors that are jumping out at me. And then eventually I start adding some white to a bunch to get some pastel colors because I want a difference between some nice dark saturated, darker values and then some lighter pastel values because what I find and what I've been noticing with other artists color palettes there's almost this formula of adding a light pastel color with a bright vibrant color and they seem to complement each other really well so I'm just going through all all of my colors and just trying to make a bunch of different swatches of shades that really kind of speak to me and are super vibrant and beautiful and then once I'm done this, we're gonna just start putting them in different combinations based on a couple color theory things that I'm familiar with to see if we can create some fun, vibrant palettes. So again, just watching a bunch of different ones and writing the names underneath so I have kind of an idea of how I mix them and then we are gonna get to playing with some combinations. Okay, so the first thing I did was get out my trusty color wheel and then I sorted all of the colors into categories based on color, greens, yellows, orange, blue, reds, and purples. And then I started thinking about complementary and contrasting colors. Those are the combinations that sit directly across from each other on the color wheel. So you had yellow and purple, red and green, and orange and blue. And if you watch my color theory videos before, you'll know that adding those two combinations of colors in a painting together can really kind of make it stand out and create this beautiful harmonious vibe. So what I wanted to do was kind of put each color next to each other. So we're starting with blue and orange to kind of get a feel of how they look sitting next to each other, which combinations work the best. I think that blue and orange look pretty good together, gives you a good idea. Also the vibrant orange with the dark blue, you know, it's a nice contrast. Now we're looking at a pastel color. See which one it kind of goes with first. That's not bad, it's nice and contrasted. Those are a little bit too close in color together and those don't feel like they go as well. But, you know what I mean? You can just play around and see what works best. Here again, we have this lighter blue. Put some oranges ne next to it. Those look nice together. That even looks kind of cool together. And even that looks cool together. So it gives you an idea of what combinations you can come up with. And I just start to do this with all of my colors. Then you can even add multiple colors of one or multiple tones of one color in a painting together. So you could have a blue with two oranges, whatever works best, but look through your colors, start pairing them up based on contrasting or complementary colors. Here I'm gonna do some reds and greens. And for reds, I included pinks because pink derives from the color red. So it's contrasting color would be green. And just kind of seeing what works best, which kind of vibe, you know, jumps out at you. And also if you notice, the color combinations, you know, give off a different vibe. So if you're trying to paint something that's say really vibrant and happy, you might go for the more vibrant combination. If you're going for something that's a little bit more like fall, like a muted palette, that might work. If you want something kind of totally wacky and awesome, you might have something that's completely opposite like that minty green and the darker red. You know what I mean? Whatever kind of works for you and the vibe you're going for. But this is a really great way to kind of gauge what you want your painting to look like. Like I like those two colors together. They're super nice and contrasty. 
but that's also pretty cool. That's a bit more quirky and fun that I could, they're a little bit too close for me. Um, I really like the high contrast, but then again, you can just add another one side by side to it and have a whole fun color palette. So this is what I suggest you do when trying to figure out a color palette. Start by swatching all of your colors, try different mixes, write them down so you don't forget, and then just start playing around with swatches. Start with two, start with two different colors. Um, maybe try the contrasting colors to start just because that might be the easiest and then start adding in a third color and a fourth color. But this is a really great way to figure out the kind of vibe you want for your painting and to plan it out beforehand. I find like that looks really cute. I find that sometimes I don't plan it out. When I've been doing my bouquets lately, I have been, you know, I usually get some inspiration off Pinterest for some, you know, summer bouquet vibes. If I'm doing the July or the August uh, bouquet, I will try and take inspiration from already created real floral bouquets. But I think what I want to start trying to do, instead of just using a reference photo all, time, all the time, see there how you can add two different purples with the yellow, it's contrast, and it just kind of works all together. Um, sorry, focus. <laughs> um, I want to start creating color palettes just by, you know, playing around and getting a feel for it myself rather than copying some sort of reference photo of a real bouquet of flowers or a sunset. I mean, that's a great way to figure out what kind of palette you want, but this is a great way to get your creativity flowing and trying to figure out what color palettes speak to you and your work. What colors do you gravitate towards? So this is something I'm figuring out and I'm actually really enjoying so far. Now I'm gonna show you another way to come up with a different kind of color palette by working with an analogous palette. So an analogous palette are three to four colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. So here I'm looking at yellows, orange, and red. So those are all sitting next to each other on the color wheel. I'm gonna start playing around and placing some of these colors together, seeing what works. And that's another way you can go with a palette that also gives off a different vibe. You know what I mean? Those bright colors makes it really summery. Let's take a look at some blues and purples. So blue and purple sit next to each other on the color wheel. So you can do a high contrast with this like lavender purple and then this really dark blue and then a light blue. See how beautiful that looks? And that gives a different mood. It's almost like a, a cooler, not sad, but like just a calmer mood to your painting. So based on that, of what kind of vibe or mood you want to get off, give off, um, you can pick an analogous palette. So those warmer colors will give off something a bit more, you know, lively and happy and bright while the blues and the greens or the blues and the purples will give off something a bit more calmer. Okay. So now I'm getting into a painting. Um, I chose those four colors and I actually add a pink in after. I don't know why they just kind of stuck out to me and I'm just going to start playing with different combinations seeing which color I want to kind of be the hero of the piece or you know the color combination that I want to stand out the most together and then what are going to be the supporting colors so the colors that stand out are the colors that I'm going to be using the most for the most surface area of the painting so the blue is really sticking out and then that light blue beneath are also sticking out. And I chose those two, those two colors, excuse me, um, because they're high contrast. You got a light and a dark and they're very vibrant. And then the orange is kind of like a secondary color. And then I'd say that the green and the pink, because they're used the least, are um, kind of those supporting colors to those initial two or three that I'm talking about. I don't even know if I'm making any sense anymore. <laughs> but then I'm just gonna start doing, like I really like the way that looked, but then I wanted to kind of figure out what would it look like if we used other colors as kind of like the hero colors of the piece. So here again, I'm just doing a little doodle up in the top corner. I did a lot of blue and then I tried to do pink, or no, orange for most of it. So that's kind of like the orange and blue are the hero colors of the piece, right? And then you have the little bit of green that's kind of the supporting color. There I only used three. Here I'm doing like a little teacup where pink is gonna be a big color and the green, I really like the way they look together. So those are the two kind of hero colors and then a little bit of the blue is a supporting color and then a little bit of 
a little bit more pink. Did I use orange in that one? I can't remember. Nope, just a little bit of blue, see? So just kind of coming up with different combinations of where two colors are the main kind of attraction of the piece and then the other three are supporting colors. Does this make sense? I really hope this makes sense. My brain's not working, didn't sleep very well last night, but I think you get it. So just coming up with a couple little doodles here and there to kind of get the vibe of which colors I want to be the main focus of that piece and which I think looks best. So this is a really great way to play around with color once you've chosen the color palette that you are going with and then seeing which one kind of stands out to you the most. So far I think it's the middle one because I really love that blue and orange combination together. Um, but I also really enjoy this plant one that I'm about to do. The I love the pink and the green together. I think those are really fun. Um, but really just kind of play around and see see how it goes for you. So that's what I did. I think I learned a lot by just practicing and having fun with this. And I think you will too if you do something similar. So just have fun with color. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Just play around and have fun. I feel like that's the best way you can get better with developing different color palettes. So that's that. And I hope you guys got something from this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.